What is going on guys? It is your boy Tank Hunters Fishing back with another video. Today for Fishing Tips Tuesday, we're going to be going over to the spinner baits. Yes, they are a very here. Let me just put you guys down on the all. Alrighty guys, so here are the uh spinner baits of my choice. So First off, let's go over color. So, towards the fall, your fish are chasing bait. They're going for shad. They're not gonna be like, um, kind of looking for crawfish as much. So, for the fall, I would recommend the, something in the shad pattern right here. I have a Guggen Squad uh, Zinger in the sexy shad color. That is a great bait. Um, for summer months, when you're like throwing it around shallow grass, you can really go with any color. It depends on the water clarity. If it's a little clear, I'd go with something a little more natural, like uh, Guggen Squad Zinger, and I think Electric Craw Color, I believe, or this 10,000 Fish Cycle Bait which is in kind of a uh, bluegill color. Got the little bluegill trailer on the back. That's a big spinner bait. And then if you're throwing a murky water and you're just trying to find fish, chartreuse spinner bait, not a bad one. I have, I have caught some nice fish. I've caught my PB smallmouth on a uh, spinner bait. It was actually this exact spinner bait. I'll put a picture up. And um, let's go over the gear you want to throw your spinnerbait on. So let's go over line first. So first, I usually like to throw my spinnerbaits on fluorocarbon, just because of the fact that fluorocarbon sinks and spinnerbaits tend to run. Well, they they do run in the top of the water column just to get them down a little further in the water. Um, set up rod and reel wise. Uh, I would get a medium heavy bait caster like my six foot six medium heavy. I would recommend going with something a little heavier, but I don't have a heavier bait caster. Hopefully, I get one sometime soon. But uh, yeah, recommend throwing it on a medium heavy. Right now, I got rigged up this old big old swimming worm slash curly tail worm with a nice little tungsten weight. Going for the biggins. So, yeah. Um, let's go over blades on your spinnerbait. So, you have your willow leaf blades, which are, uh, they look like a willow leaf. They have, uh, give out less vibration and they're like a lower profile. So, if you're trying to catch some finicky fish, Something with a willow leaf. All the ones I have are with willow leaves. But then uh, there's also Colorado, Colorado bladed uh, spinner baits. Let me. Uh, I know I have one in here somewhere. Yeah. So this isn't a spinner bait, but it's just an example of a Colorado blade. It's a lot wider, and it will throw off a lot more vibration and will have those fish uh, be easier to find. So one tip for you there for trailer wise, you can really do whatever you want from say paddle tail swim baits, no trailer. Uh, let me see real quick like a bandito bug as a trailer um because those appendages will still kick even if it's on the back so yeah i recommend throwing this 15 to 17 pound line if you're throwing braid i would throw it in more murky water and if you do throw braid in clear water i recommend a fluorocarbon leader which i do on my bait caster which is not a not a hard knot to tie so, uh, yeah, that will, uh, 
Yeah, I think I think I've basically gone over everything. Uh, yeah. That will uh, here, let's go over reels real quick. So gear ratio, I like something that retrieves a little slower. Like a, I think this one is a six two, one. It is a. Got it on here somewhere. Six one one. So, oops, something a little slower. But uh, well, no, I think that's pretty fast, honestly, for spinnerbait fishing. But if you just slow roll it, you'll be all good. But yeah, you just want to retrieve it right in, straighten, and it's basically a bait you just cast out there and reel in. You don't need to do nothing special. So yeah, let me take you guys. That will uh, wrap up the video for today. If you guys enjoyed, um, hit that like button. Uh, yeah, check out our pre-rigged hooks on Facebook Marketplace. If you don't want to buy one, you don't have to. It's fine. Uh, comment down below what baits you would like to see next. I'm always up for recommendations, and I'll do the uh, most requested. Yeah. I don't get too many requests, but if you request one, there's a high chance that you'll get it. So um, that will wrap up the video for today. If you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.